Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video with me, Oofle Spoofle. And today's video is going to be the first of hopefully many videos in um, a new modded career series. Um, if you want a list of all the mods, they're going to be down in the description, of course, along with my uh, new Discord server if you want to join that. But some notable mods would be Kerbalism, which adds life support. Uh, radiation and it also overhauls the science system. I'll talk a bit more about that uh, in a moment once we've uh, done our first launch but um, we've also got research bodies which uh, basically means that you can't really do science um, on a planet until you've quote-unquote discovered it. I'm gonna admit I don't fully know how the mod works because I haven't used it a whole lot but um, I guess I'll be learning along the way. Um, We've also got some part mods such as procedural parts and restock, and also restock plus. But here we go, launching our first sounding rocket. Um, literally just put together whatever I could. This is the only probe core I have, and I'm also using the procedural SRB, which is really quite overpowered for your first launch. But as you can see, this didn't quite go to plan. Um, I For some reason it tipped over, probably because it didn't have enough speed to keep it stable. But yeah, <laughs> as you can see didn't last very long. Uh, we got a little bit of science, but overall, uh, wouldn't exactly call it a success. So for the second launch, I decided to slightly increase the thrust and uh, also remove some batteries that were causing a bit too much drag on the uh, top of the rocket. But here we go. It's already looking a lot better. We're going fairly straight. And as you can see on that window I have pulled up for my probe core, uh, you can see that, I mean, it's finished now, but you you'll see again in a moment. It had a timer for my telemetry report experiment. So basically the way Kerbalism does science is it means that instead of just completing an experiment like instantly as you would in the stock game, it actually means that you have to spend a certain amount of time in uh, whatever situation you're in to be able to run an experiment. So it's different for each experiment, Experiment, sorry, but the, uh, in the case of the telemetry report, it takes 30 seconds. So... Um, yeah, we did manage to get all the science possible, I think, from this launch. Um, but if the experiment took a bit longer, then we wouldn't have all the science value and we'd have to come back again to get that last bit of science. But yeah, so as you can see, this thing doesn't have parachutes, so we're not going to be able to recover the rocket. But as you can see, we do have those side mounted communitron an antennas and uh, they're going to be constantly, you know, sending back whatever science we do get. So yeah. We're fine. As you can see, we have 33 science points to spend, and I decided to spend it on some plane technology because planes are great. You can just fly around and collect science, and uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's why planes are great. That they're, they're really good in the early game, actually. And uh, I also decided to pick up these two contracts just to, you know, test out these two jet engines, uh, the Juno and the Weasley. So time to build our first plane. Now I'm gonna say this right now. This first plane design didn't quite work as expected. Uh, you'll see in just a sec, but yeah, we're going with the Juno jet engine first because remember, we do have a contract to, um, you know, bring it to a certain altitude. And uh, I believe I didn't actually unlock the Weasley. I just have it because of another contract. But yeah, I decided to go with these wings because I thought they looked cool. But little did I know that um, it's kind of awkward to atta attach Elevons to it. I'm sure you can. Maybe I just haven't figured it out, but yeah, you'll, I mean, I'm not going to spoil exactly what happens in this launch, but, um, yeah. So for the landing gear, we don't have the retractable ones. We just have these ones that kind of just stick out the side of our, or the bottom, at least of our plane. And they can be quite annoying because if they're just sticking out there, they're producing a lot of drag and they're constantly doing that. So it's not the most efficient you know, or when you're flying, it's not going to be very, very efficient. So you're not going to get as much value out of your Delta V um, with this sort of setup. But, you know, you have to work with what you have. And uh, this is what we have. So anyway, we've got Jebediah in the cockpit for this flight. Um, I just decided to do that crew report real quick just to get that bit of extra science on the runway. But uh, we can try and um, launch this. And as soon as I tried pitching up, I noticed that the nose went down and that was already concerning because uh, yesterday when I recorded my air launch to air launcher video which if you haven't watched you know go and check it out I, it's I'm pretty happy with that video but you know a similar thing happened in that video where my pitch controls got inverted 
and yeah as soon as so i was i knew that that would happen um from the way the nose went down when i tried to pitch up so i was like oh no this is gonna be so hard to fly um i could have stopped on the runway but for some reason i decided not to so yeah i decided to just to turn it back around and and land it because it's i as i've learned it's very difficult to fly a plane with um an SAS that doesn't work properly and also inverted pitch controls so yeah in the end I just decided to go with this delta wing design because uh, it's it's I it's tried and tested you know I at least I know this works I know there's a way to attach elevons properly to the to the um the other wing can't remember what it's called because I, I've seen people do it but um uh in fact I have done it and it worked just fine so I don't know what I did differently this time but yeah, anyway, we've got Valentina for this flight because um, Jebediah... Well, I have, I have this mod. Um, it's called Crew r, r which basically means that Kerbals have to have a recovery time after each flight. And um, for Jebediah, it wasn't very long considering he only spent about 30 seconds in the air. But yeah, um, I did get... Uh, from last launch, I did get a bit of extra science from that crew report I did on the runway. So... Um, I decided to spend it on some new science experiments. So as you can see, we've got a barometer and a thermometer. Um, actually, we have the thermometer from the start. That's my bad. We have a radiation scanner. Um, so yeah, we have some more experiments to do, which, you know, that means extra science. Now, there's something slightly annoying about the barometer. And as you can see, it takes 15 minutes to complete the uh, atmospheric pressure scan which is just a really long time and considering you know you have to do that for each biome as well um yeah it just meant a lot of loop the <laughs> a lot of loop the loops just trying to wait for that to finish so it does make the whole process a little bit tedious but yeah hopefully you noticed just earlier while i was talking i finished that contract to haul the juno jet engine up to a high altitude so as you can see um well the contract's no longer there so yeah, that's done. Got a few extra funds there. And uh, hopefully funds won't be that much of an issue, actually, because I think I'm playing on just default funds difficulty settings. So, yeah. Looking back, I probably should have turned, like, the funds rewards down a little bit just because it, it can be really easy. But my my thinking was that some mods such as Research Bodies does kind of eat away at your funds. So, oh, well. Anyway, so... The sun was setting and I didn't really want to have to fly this thing around in the dark. So I just decided to get back to the runway and land. Um, didn't really finish my barometer scans, but that's fine. Uh, there will be another flight in this video, so hopefully we can finish that up there. But as you can see, we've touched down. Um, pretty good touchdown, if I do say so myself. And uh, what I tried doing here was attaching more barometers. Because um, my thought process was, um, if I have several running at the same time... Then, uh, you know, I'll finish it faster. But even though I've actually played Kerbalesman quite a lot before, I somehow managed to forget that you can't have more than one of the same experiment running it at the same time. So, yeah, I don't really know what I was thinking there. Like, of course that doesn't work. But, uh, oh well. As you can see, we've switched out the Juno engine for a Weasley engine. So, yeah, this thing does have a lot more thrust. But it also means that we can complete our contract if we um, get it up to the right altitude. So yeah, as we can see, Jebediah is back from his recovery period. And uh, yeah, again, using the same trick of using the, the drop at the end of the runway to get ourselves into the air. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I could <laughs> make a, a plane that has enough lift to take off on its own. But nah, that's overrated. And yeah, my as you can see, my piloting skills really aren't great. I managed to stall this plane more times than I'm proud of, to be honest, so, yeah, I don't think it's a problem with the pr with the plane, it's not back heavy, um, I, I think I'm just a bad pilot, so, yeah, and in fact, you'll see later, my bad piloting almost costs us a Kerbal, um, but, uh, I mean, I don't want <laughs> I I'm not trying to spoil anything, but, yeah, so, I decided to just fly around mindlessly, collecting data, and, uh, Oh, actually, that's not true. Right here, we are nosediving to pick up some speed so we can finish that contract. And there we go. Um, only thing is that I found it hard to regain control of the plane after this. 
again, a good pilot could do this really easily, but I'm not, I'm not a good pilot, so yeah, I did end up getting a bit too close to the ground for comfort, but as you can see, we're absolutely fine. So I decided to fly over the mountains and get some science from there. Um, I didn't actually finish the barometer scan again because I'm too lazy for that. Um, it, it really does get quite boring waiting for that experiment to finish. But yeah, that was a pretty satisfying time lapse if I do say so myself. I think you're watching 16 times speed there because the uh, video spit up, the video is sped up four times and so is the gameplay. So yeah. But yeah, so this is how, this is what we're doing for the series basically. So I really do like Kerbalism as like the way it handles science because I think it's just a bit more realistic. Like you can't get loads of information instantly. That's not quite how it works. And you can also run experiments in the background of other missions. So here we are coming into land and I somehow managed to stall the plane right over the runway. So I had to, I had to bail Jebediah out last minute. And uh, that was a really close call, actually. But uh, I took the chance to run the EVA experiments and uh, recover Jebediah. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. So if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. All of that good stuff. Join my Discord server. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, really hope you enjoyed. And have a great rest of your day.